And hello everyone, <laughs> welcome to episode 7. I've done too many numbers for the stream of 7. Seven. seven. Episode 7, we are doing an e free E3, where we will tell you what we want to see from each company at E3, and what we'll more than likely see, so expect stupid things that we want, <laughs> because we don't have to be realistic right now. But so, E3, that is next week. Uh, yeah, and like... Well, the event starts on the 12th, but the, all the conferences, for some reason, start earlier, which is very inconvenient for right, me. Right, yeah, the first one is on the 9th. Yeah, yeah, the 9th. So, in With 8 days. X, no, no, it's on the 11th. Wait, which one's on the 11th? Monday at 11, you have the Xbox, which is basically the first one. I mean, you also have EA and Bethesda earlier, I think. Well, yeah, but, no, Bethesda is after Xbox. EA, I think that's probably before Xbox, but then that'd be on June 10th, which is a Sunday. I uh, don't remember, but I remember that they, uh, in general, they start on the 9th. Yeah, yeah, they probably start on the 9th, but then the conference is uh, the 11th and the 13th. Yeah, EA is the first one on the 9th, and then Microsoft is on the 10th. For some reason, and I have a different thing here. Uh, I have a different schedule. Mine says Xbox, Monday, June 11th. Square Enix Ubisoft June 12th and PlayStation and Nintendo June 13th. Eh, it doesn't matter. Some. Know, it's one of, the, matter. Right, one of those days. Yeah, because we don't really care about that. Yeah. But Maybe anyway. Some sport game, another sport game, and then probably some. What's that? Yeah. What's that game? Anthem? Yeah, that game. Steep. Steep, no, that's Ubisoft. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, which one are you talking about? Yeah. Yeah. No. What, what game are you talking about? You just what said game that what? game. You just said that game. Yeah. Anthem. Anthem. Oh. That's game I was thinking of. Right. Yeah. That one actually does look cool. Yeah, and probably be riddled with loot boxes, fun all around. Probably. So let's skip them. It's probably not gonna be. So we'll start great, with but... Xbox and Microsoft. Yeah. So you want to start with now, uh what we want to see from each company? Yeah. So we'll start all with right. Xbox. I want to see Scalebound. It won't happen, I know. Like a dream. We don't have to be real. Yeah. That game looked amazing. <laughs> it was like Monster Hunter and you could ride the monster. Yeah. That sold me on it. That's all I need. <laughs> well, what I'm hoping that they show is an Xbox exclusive that doesn't suck within the first week. <laughs> yeah, if it's Jailbound. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> No, because like the past two exclusives that they had, uh, Sea of Thieves and State of Decay, apparently they were very unimpressive within the first week. I heard Sea of Thieves was really well taken too. Yeah. It looks good. And yeah, it I does. I heard it was good. It does, but from what I've heard, because I don't have an Xbox, from what I heard, it had, you know, basically all the quests were the same. You know, they were just fetch quests. And it didn't have well, enough yeah, to keep you interested uh, <laughs> long enough. Within the first week or two. Later on, apparently, they fixed it. They had much more, you know, objectives and things to do. But, like, for the first bit, it was just not as fun. It was basically the same as the beta, just full game release. Uh, but, like, that's not a problem. If it's better yeah. later on, then it's better. It's just, you know, doesn't do well with its sales and doesn't let Xbox drive. And then the second one, State of Decay, which came out recently... Apparently it was like really buggy. Uh, like uh, I heard one person he couldn't like all the HUD menus and user interface like the map and the like objective go here and all that was just bugged out. It was like the letters were mixed up. The they would flash. They wouldn't like stay still. They wouldn't do it. They wouldn't work. And so he couldn't. It, the game wasn't playable <laughs> for him. And I heard that like two or three people said the same thing. So it probably didn't happen with everyone, but you know. Still think that they have It's to a place. more common glitch. Yeah. But, like, you know, if they could release a game that is, you know, well and working and full of things to do sorry, within the first week. We said week, we skipped the ad. What? We said we skipped the ad. Yeah. But, anyway. Uh, the other thing that I want to see from uh Microsoft and Xbox is uh HoloLens. Remember that thing that they did, the AR thing? <laughs> no. You, you don't remember that? I do not remember HoloLens. I know they're trying to do the VR stuff. I didn't know about AR. <laughs> no, they 
They showed it off like two years ago, and then they haven't said anything about it since. I mean, they showed off like yeah, they they probably dropped that. <laughs> no, no, because they're still working on it. They they had like one video last year, I think, where they showed off uh, Alien game. Basically, what the Hololens looks like it's it's like the sci-fi shit. Uh, it goes around your eyes, and there's glass in front of it, and it, and so it's like you it, it projects something onto the glass, so it looks like you know, you're there, and everything's, they see, oh, like, wait, it interacts. I think I remember seeing about that. Yeah. Remember, the, basically I think the, I remember the advert. The guy picked it up, and he put it on, and he, like, looked at the weather or something in his bedroom, and then he went to the kitchen where he had photos and Skype happening on his kitchen countertop, and then, like, a calendar on his fridge, and Minecraft on his living room table. <laughs> Was, oh, yeah, yeah, I do remember, remember that. Remember that, yeah, yeah. Because they showed the Minecraft stuff, and that did actually look pretty good. Yeah, see, it, it's it's actually real and still in development. And really? it Yeah, it, it, and actually, apparently, it's working well. Um, <laughs> Just not well enough to release. No, no, because, like, they released a, a demo video where they showed off a person playing this game with aliens, like, aliens popping out in the, in the room. So it was like popping out from the like it, it senses where the walls are and the couches are and everything like that. So it's like there's a portal happening on this wall and they're popping out of there and the on that wall and they're popping out of there and he's running around the room <laughs> shooting them. Well, I would love to have one pop out from under the bed. <laughs> That'd be cool. There's a monster on the bed. Yes, there is yeah. an alien. But I wonder if like if you just leave the room, does that stop the game? <laughs> Like, because you probably have to scan the room first before starting, because like it remembers where the wall is and where the portal is. So if you leave so the room, have a room with a bed, and yeah. I'll get my way. <laughs> it's like they will come from under the bed. <laughs> they don't have a choice. Yeah, but anyway, so that's what I want to see. I want to see more news for that, or at least them telling me that yes, this is still happening. But, I want to see more stuff to do with crossplay. Yeah. Minecraft has been very really good now with Minecraft, of course. Yeah, that too. Rocket League doing the Xbox and the Switch and PC. Yeah. So they are really trying to push out the crossplay. So I hope to hear more news about that. And hopefully, you get so many more. Yeah, I think State of Decay is crossplay, or is that just Xbox? I can't remember. Oh, they'll probably be on PC as well. So they'll probably do crossplay. Yeah. But I mean crossplay with more consoles, not just PC. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm pretty sure they'll say something about crossplay. It seems like they're doing like one a year anyway. <laughs> like <laughs> Rocket, they're really going out there. <laughs> like Rocket League crossplay started a long time ago, right? Like two years ago. Yeah, it started. Yeah, and then last and year then they, they announced Twitter Minecraft. Really... Yeah, and then last year they announced uh, Minecraft crossplay. So, yeah. probably this year they'll show something else off. I reckon they'll either announce something new with crossplay, or show some more Minecraft crossplay and say that I did more PGS or something. Yeah. When's that coming out again? On Switch? Uh, on the Switch, June 21st, because you have the uh, retail version coming out. Right, yeah. Okay. And that's when the update Aquatic should also be out. You know, riding dolphins. Yay. So we get like a big haul on that day. Yeah, pretty much. Well, the update quality will probably come out. I reckon they'll probably announce that at E3 when they're really safe. Yeah, the, the, is it out already? Is it out already? It has. It's on a beta version. All oh, right. Yeah. PC and the Bedrock version. Yeah. Okay. So they'll probably announce a release date at E3, and that will come before June twenty first. More than that. Yay, Minecraft! I feel like I'm twelve again. <laughs> we are. We always have to. Oh, that's why we're so annoying. Yeah. That's why no one wants to talk to us and why I have to sit here and talk to you forever. Oh, I would feel sorry for you, but you're equally annoying, so, huh? Yeah, but my annoyance is good. Eh. I mean, you say that, but... And everyone else agrees. Sure. (laughs) I'm sure they do. Anyway, <laughs> enough Minecraft and Xbox and Spotify yeah. and whatever stuff you said. <laughs> anyway. Beast Festo is apparently the next one on my list. Yeah, mine too. Um, well, I would like them to show off a new IP, 
because I think they said they were working <laughs> on something new. No, because I, I remember they said they were working on like five games at one point. Yes, striving for the Wii U, <clears throat> striving for the calculator, striving for the microwave, striving for the switch, and Fallout 76. You forgot Skyrim for the toaster. <laughs> yeah, that was the Wii U. All right. <laughs> oh, it does this heat up now. <laughs> but it makes toast for you. You gotta have some use out of it. Yeah. No, like it takes a while, but it still does it. Yeah. Well, no, because so far they said five games, so that was Skyrim for Switch, Doom for Switch. For like if we're if we're counting the ones for Switch, Switch as one. <laughs> Wolfenstein for Switch, Fallout, six, Fallout 76, 76 which they announced what? yesterday. Yeah. Fallout 76, yeah. Which I still haven't understood what it is, but never mind. It's a new Fallout game. Is it like a brand new Fallout game, or is it DLC? Yeah, yeah, or it's a brand it new like... Fallout game. No, no, okay. it's a brand new Fallout game. For some reason, they wanted it to 76 and not 5. They skipped a few numbers. I think Bring they're... Battlefield. <laughs> they're taking counting tips from Microsoft. <laughs> Windows... 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, XP. <laughs> They're taking county tips on Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, Chain of Memory, Series 5, 18. 0. 0.2. <laughs> there you go, that's how you count. 1.5, 2.5, 2.8. We don't like Switch. <laughs> 3.5? I have a feeling. 2.7.5.2. You know what would be great? If Kingdom Hearts 3 gets delayed. So that they can no, that would not be great. No, no, so that they can rename all the posters and all the cover art for everything to be 3.1. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> anyway, Bethesda, what do you want to see? Uh, well, basically, yeah, I want to see if they have another game in the works. Because they said they were have, working on 5, and I'm pretty sure they haven't talked about 5 yet. But apparently they're making that big thing like they did last year, Bethesda Land or whatever it was called last year. So no, I didn't watch Bethesda last year. <laughs> Probably won't even watch them. It's too late for me. I need to. Sleep. Yeah, but uh, I'm I'm getting five days off in a row, so I'm taking advantage of it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, since you said five days. I want a new Elder Scrolls thing. Skyrim is good as that is, it's getting stale. They said they're not working on it though, so... No, probably just that people don't... Bug them. Act like they're working on it. <laughs> they want to keep the shock value. We're not working on it, they've been announced they're working on it. It's coming out next year, imagine the shock value they get. I don't think so. I, I really doubt it. Yeah, but this isn't about realistic guesses. Yeah, okay. So, a new world is brought Sure. But, yeah. I'm pretty sure, though, they are gonna show off... Um, I'm, I'm guessing, like, most of it is just probably gonna revolve around Fallout 76, though. Yeah. Oh, so they won't, more than likely, won't show off No War Fist, I Because that's coming out next month. Yeah. Or just June, July, one of the two, I don't know. Um... But anyway. It will definitely fall out. Go, or, or go on fall out. They'll yeah. announce some new stuff here and there. Probably another Skyrim. They'll probably show out more screen... Maybe they'll show out some screenshots of uh, Wolfenstein, but they won't put too much emphasis on it. They released a trailer the other day um, showing off basically all of Wolfenstein 1 <laughs> <laughs> so that you get the story so you know what you're doing in Wolfenstein 2. So I reckon they should have what Platinum did. When they brought Bayonetta 2 to that, they all reported Bayonetta. Just yeah. so you recall that recognition of them. Um, but you don't really need Bayonetta 1 to understand the story of Bayonetta 2, right? I mean, there's. The story yeah, It's more to understand the characters than it is. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway. So yeah, that's it for Bethesda for me. Yeah. Do you want anything Not else really from much them? to talk about that. <laughs> Not really, no. So I want a new world to scroll team, but they're going to focus on Fallout. <coughs> I'm not much of a Fallout fan, so. <laughs> They don't interest me right now. Yeah. I mean... Grave and X. If it looks cool enough, then I might consider getting it if it comes out for Switch, but... That's a big if, if, if. <laughs> anyway. Exactly. If any Fallout was going to come to Switch, it would be New Vegas or Fallout. 
Yeah. I mean, Fallout 4, if it's not too expensive, I might consider getting it. I like Fallout. I played it a bit. It was fun. I can't start. It's not bad, but it doesn't get my interest too long. Uh, and anyway. Yeah, as you said, let's move on to Square, yeah, Square Enix. Enix. That's the next one. Mm, no, no. I wonder. Obviously, the big one for me, Kingdom Hearts. Three. What? No, they're not. They're not going to show that. No, off. not at all. No. <laughs> not like it. Kingdom Hearts. It's not like they announced it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I want a release date. I need. It. it will stop me from getting every game on the Switch, but I need. Kingdom <laughs> it's like, oh look, it's available now. <laughs> I hate it when they do that. It was like, you can download this now. It's like, yeah. You're not letting but, me plan. Give me time to get money. <laughs> They're not all rich and famous, like. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, obviously Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. Um, and uh, Final Fantasy 15 for the Switch. I, I'd it like, came to I'd mobile, like that. so the Switch could definitely do yeah. it. And obviously better than the mobile. I mean, the one on the mobile, though, was chibi, right? They were just... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They could do it on the Switch. Just try to downgrade it a lot. Uh, definitely I, the whole chippy stuff. Though. I I don't I don't want the chippy one on Switch. <laughs> no, that won't be on the Switch. Definitely not. Not if they wanted to. Sell. Yeah. But I can definitely see that game probably coming to Switch. The chippy one. And no, no. <laughs> okay, good, like, good, 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 good. And I reckon now this is very out there. Yeah. But are the Kingdom Hearts games on Switch? No. <laughs> they said they want to pull Kingdom Hearts three to the Switch. But yeah. they want to focus on every other version first. Yeah. And you've already had plenty of Kingdom Hearts games on Nintendo systems before. So why it might not be Kingdom Hearts 1, 2 and all that. It will be the Nintendo versions instead of having the Hasty Cinema. Yeah. I can see that happening. I mean, like, probably not, but... <laughs> yeah, probably I, not. I said these aren't realistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can definitely see Kingdom Hearts 3 maybe coming to the Switch later on. Later on, yeah. not, not yeah. But not maybe this year. 2020. Not announced this year for sure though. What? No, not we're doing that later. We're doing announce later. Stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm getting I... too ahead of yourself now. What do you want from there? Um, basically what you just said. <laughs> uh, I want a Final Fantasy game on Switch because I really want to get Final Fantasy on Nintendo systems before. Yeah, I know they they have and they can easily you know there's. Men, not like okay. Even if it's not Final Fantasy fifteen, they can like, I don't know, one of the well, older they, ones. Yeah, they're doing their Final Fantasy seven remake, so they could easily do that. Like Cloud Watson Smash. Yeah, but that's not that's not uh, gonna. They they said that they're completely rehauling over it, and it's probably not gonna come out till like twenty twenty two or something stupid like that. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter. They'll sort of more than likely announce something. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure they won't say anything this year though. If any Final Fantasy game was gonna come, it would be that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're not gonna say anything this year though. It's like they didn't say anything last year, I think. Yeah, they may show more than that in the Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, probably that's gonna be their main event. Um, actually, what I want to see from them, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna show something from it because it's really hot now. The they're working on an Avengers game. It did. They, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, they are. They they released that cinematic trailer like two years ago. Yeah. I remember that I actually wanted to play that. Yeah, and I'm thinking... That's not get released this year, because I can't get it. <laughs> it probably won't be. Like, they haven't said anything about that. I doubt that'll come out this year. Um, I reckon that will probably come out when Infinity War Part 2. Yeah. Because they're going to want all the Avengers. So, yeah, that's... And they're not going to want to spoil your Part 2. So. Yeah, that, that's that's my guess as well. Come out, you know? but, or around the time that comes out, anyway. Yeah. So, I'm... I'm, uh, I'm Hoping that they show something of that, or they say something of that, like what type of game it is, at least. Like a fighting game. Well, no shit, but like if it sort. Square Enix versus Marvel. No, but like if it's sort of like Final Fantasy, where you run in a party, or if you're a single. Uh, I like no be a lot like Kingdom Hearts. Maybe. Like where you. Wait, wait. Where you pick where you can pick one person to play as. So you get all the yeah. all the main Avengers, so Iron Man or Captain America or Kai Black Widow or the main ones that start it. And then you recruit late ones later down the line as you mm. further into the movie. Yeah. And you can play as them. Yeah. That's probably gonna so be something. Like that. With the party system is that you can play as Donald and Goofy. 
It's probably going to be something like that. But what I'm wondering is, are if they're going to go by the movies as source material or the comics as source material? I reckon they'd be smarter to go by movies. Yeah. They're more well popular now. Comics just aren't it. Yeah. But if they're going by the movies and they... It's going to be like a story we've already seen before. And did you not see the full comic? They got dark. Yeah, I know. Like, I prefer to see something a bit more dark. Like, the trailer, it seemed a bit dark. Like, he supported all the... Nazis. Wait, what? In which one are yeah, you? Yeah, in one of the comics, he full supported Nazis and dropped a nuke. I'm pretty sure it's, like, in an alternate universe. Because they also have that in DC where uh, Superman was a Nazi. I have yeah, they also have it in DC where you have Earth 51, I think it is. Um, and it's the Nazis won the war or something. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the, a different dimension, uh, still. <laughs> actually, no, Superman was a Nazi. He was like a ultra-communist or something like that. I have the comic, actually. It's on the shelf right there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going by the TV show. Because they did a crossover with The Flash, Arrow, DC, and I just it super good. Oh, cool. They had Nazis in there. Nice. That's what I want to watch. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very good crossover. This week on The Flash... Oh no, Hitler! No, Hitler wasn't in it. He was dead, obviously. Well, yeah, obviously. but the Nazis won the war. Anyway, Hitler's son. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I I want to see something from that Avengers game. I want to see more footage or, you know, just information even or like screenshots. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. they they. I assume they'd say something, because, like, now the movie just came out, and, uh, in general, Marvel's, uh, like, practically at its peak. Did you even, did you ever realize how old Stan Lee is? Like, I knew he was old, but, like, he's 95. Yeah. Why isn't he, why isn't he dead yet? <laughs> That's just rude. Well, yeah. You do know the average age now is going up, like, 110. No, no, that's that's bullshit. I don't know where you read that. The average. I don't know. I just made it up now. No. It's like eighty-five or something. Like yeah, that. no, for women it's eighty-five. For men it's seventy-five on average. Oh, I'm not even in America. I'm going to. In, in I'm America. probably last in five more years. I don't know. I think in, in America it's seventy-five because like most of them are like not most, but like there's a large percentage of them who are obese. They're fat. And have diabetes and stuff like that. So. Like, that? They should go see a doctor and lose weight. <laughs> It's not fat shaming, you're over when you need to lose weight. That's not what my topic is. What my topic is Steven <laughs> not Steven. Uh <laughs> Stan Lee is old. Yeah, that's because he's not fat. Yeah. He just got a Twitter and he's like I think I'm like the oldest person on Twitter at ninety five. <laughs> Where's my world record? Straight in it's Tina Bar's Final Fantasy. And Avengers. I mean, what and Avengers. <laughs> Mm. There's not more else to do. I want to see more about Project Octopath. They're definitely going to show that. Uh, when is it coming out? Even I keep forgetting. It's like uh, is it June or July? First, I think. I think it's June twenty. July seventh. July seventh. Oh I think yeah, yeah, it's yeah. July seventh. Yeah, yeah. I remember there's a seven in it somewhere. Yeah. But July seventh is both seven. So. And that game, really does look good. I would get it for the whole game for that. Looks good, but I'm not getting it. <laughs> I, I was planning on getting it, I read it, but then, you know, yeah. Kingdom Hearts, Monster Hunter, Smash. And literally all the other games coming out this year. <laughs> Every other game just got announced that one is no. But, yeah. Anyway. So, uh, let's uh, move on. Ubisoft. Ubisoft. Um, Ubisoft. I said something about Ubisoft earlier and I forgot what game it was. Steve. Which one? Yeah, yeah, Steve. You said Steve. Yeah, that's apparently coming to Switch, but no news yeah, for that. Yeah, to Switch last, <laughs> last winter. So, maybe we we'll get something. So, I don't know if I won that now. I played a bit of it on the PS4. Bowed it off a friend, and yeah. I really did enjoy that. It, it's, it's not the best game, yeah, but like it's a fun game that has its community, especially people who like snowboarding games. I've, I look... Like, what was our snowboard game on the PS2? I don't know. What was know. it called? I don't know. <laughs> well, it was one of the PS2. Oh, was it? Really, it was a great game. Was it that 361? Or yeah. te- uh, 1080 something? I don't know. I'll, I'll know it when I it. Was, it was a lot of degrees. I remember that. 
<laughs> it was a really fun snowboarding game. I was hoping Steve would be like that. Yeah. But it wasn't. Never mind. Yeah, so, oh, I just uh, remembered something I was going to say for Microsoft. Uh, you're a bit late. Wait, wait, wait. You're talking about backtrack. Microsoft? Backtrack. Rewind. Um, Gears of War. Because like apparently there were rumors going around that uh, there's another work game in the works, which is. Uh, Gears of War when it ran its course. Yeah, I I don't I don't want it. I don't uh, need it at all. I I couldn't care less if it comes out. I'll be interested to so look at it. But why like, are you joining it in this discussion? You could have saved that for the next part when we talked about what we're doing. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. You for no reason. You're welcome. Ubisoft, Steve, what else? Steve, um, apparently the next Assassin's Creed game is coming out this year, and supposedly it's taking... Do you want to see that or not? We're not talking about what we do. I'd like to see it, yeah. Assassin's Creed games are cool to look at, but I'm probably not going to get them unless it's really good. <laughs> and it comes out yeah, I had 3 and Black Flag. On the yeah, Black Flag was fun. I like that. It was fun. I just wish more people playing it for the online. Yeah. The online was also pretty good. I never played the online. It never worked for me. Yeah, no. You always just had the same people on it who didn't play it that came out. And it was no fun because they know all the spots. <laughs> so there needed to be more people online, but that's what I get for playing it on the Yeah. But anyway. Yeah, that seemed fun. Uh, yeah, so... I'd have to agree with this, actually. I do like it. Yeah. As much hay as they do get, they are pretty much just sit down and play. Yeah, but, like, you know, not worth getting each and every one, because they're... Not worth taking ba 50 pounds. Basically the same game, but with a different, uh, scenario. Stop. But, like, it's not like they ever change too much in the gameplay. Nah. Okay, the ne the last one, Origins, was uh, apparently pretty different. Not too different to like alienate the old players, but not uh, extremely, uh, not not ex uh, the same exactly the same as the previous ones. So that's why I enjoyed Black Flag a lot <clears throat> because you had the whole you know ship part. Yeah, it changed a lot in my side of three. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I never finished it. I'm still at like thirty three percent, I think. <laughs> At one point, I was just like... I, I 100 percent did that thing. At one point, I was just like, eh, it's, it's fine. I'll just sail around my ship and go and collect loot. It was the only game I had to like to <laughs> But, yeah. When I go off to uni, I'm pretty sure I'm going to take my Wii U with me. Because I have, like, a few games I haven't finished yet. Got Wind Waker. Yeah, you know, Wind Waker. Wind Waker, Black Flag. I want to finish Twilight Princess for the Wii. But I don't remember where I started, where I was left off, Do so I'll just restart it. I have Twilight Princess, but not the HD remake. I have the Wii version. You need the HD remake one. I'm not paying 50 pounds for a game. It's probably a lot cheaper. It's on Wii U. Oh, here, here I can't find it cheaper. Here, well, they... you're not going to uni there. You're going to uni. Well, whatever. <laughs> Our prices drop. We're not ripping off the of most of it, aren't we? We the odd so... shop that just... But it's, it's so stupid though. Like here, it's like the game came out four years ago. We're still selling it at like uh, retail prices. It's yeah, like, the only games here that do that are GTA, <clears> obviously, yeah, and Mario Kart. Because GTA Sometimes is never gonna stop selling. That can drop. They're never gonna stop selling. That's why. <laughs> I checked on uh, CEX, the used game yeah, shop. I know what CEX. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm seeing it for the viewer, the one viewer. <laughs> um. Yeah, they subscribe to my Kingdom Hearts live stream, nothing. Shh. Thank you, by the way, for that. Uh, yeah, I checked CEX uh, in general, because I was uh, trying to see how much monitors cost, because uh, I'm probably going to need one when I go there. And apparently, they don't show them on the website. So I looked around on the other stuff, because I was already there, and Mario Odyssey used was 40 bucks. Like, Okay, it's... It's a new game, but it's used. It's like yeah, but it's I know, but like it says under it, okay, sell it to us for ten pounds, and we'll sell it to you for forty bucks. It's like, how how does that work? Don't don't advertise. Wait, it. you only get ten pounds for it? I know you only get like twelve pounds or something stupid like that. Yeah, the strong power will have to go over the road and get like twenty five for you. I know it's like oh, all my Wii U games, I got twenty five. I had twenty five all in all somehow. Don't know how, and I got enough of that for the Switch. 
I only had to put two pounds towards this. So I'm selling all my Wii U games. Twenty five pounds for all your Wii U games. Don't you mean two hundred fifty? No, no. I got two hundred and seventy nine. I had to put two pounds towards Switch. So two hundred and seventy eight okay. pounds for all my Wii U games. Okay. Yeah. Still don't know how I manage that. And then they wouldn't even take the Wii U because it was dusty inside. <laughs> oh no! Just <laughs> blow on. Go. Here you go. But I'm not to play Assassin's Creed a bit longer, so I'm <laughs> fine. That's good, I guess. Hmm. But yeah. So next on the list, after uh, unless there's anything else you want to talk about Ubisoft. Oh yeah, the Assassin's Creed no. game apparently is going to take place in Greece, ancient Greece, and apparently it's going to be called Odyssey. Which, if it does, I'll be very happy about that. I want a Roman. A what? A, a, a Roman Assassin's Creed game. Didn't they have that? I don't think so. They had one in Italy, but I'm not sure if it was in Roman times. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Nah, yeah, I want a Roman time. One. Like, all the common yeah. themes of, you know, the lions, the mythical bees. Mm, yeah. I guess they could make it like... Uh, I don't remember where it was taking place in Italy. The it was the first one, right? The first one was took place. Yeah, yeah, the first yeah. one was Italy. Where in Italy though? Do you remember I, Milano I, or it Rome came out or something? A long time ago. I don't know. Like if they, I never played it. If they take <laughs> My place, first Assassin's Creed game was Assassin's yeah. Creed Three. <laughs> like if they take place in the same city uh, as the first one, or like if one of the cities you can visit is in the same one as the first one, so it's like you can. Uh, you know, it'll be like a cool Easter egg, or not an Easter egg, like a cool reference for hardcore fans. It's like, you know, you know, you can go through the same streets as you did in the first game, but this time in an older time. So it's like some of the buildings will still be there, most of them won't, though. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Yeah. That'd be cool, but they probably won't do that. Um... <laughs> and I also want them to announce Just Dance 2019. They're definitely gonna announce Just Dance 2019. <laughs> Don't you worry, they're gonna have like. my hopes and dreams come true. They're gonna have like 20 stalls for Just Dance. And it'll I... probably come on this Wii as well. It probably will. I don't <laughs> doubt that it will. I mean, 2018 came on the Wii. They just shove Just Dance and everything. I bet the Wii will never die just because some families still have it and some people still buy Just Dance for the Wii. <laughs> they really enjoy Just Dance. Are there even any other games coming out for the Wii other than Just Dance? Of course, this is not even coming out for the Wii U. <laughs> Never mind the Wii. It's, it's hard to believe that the Wii is more accessible nowadays than the Wii U is. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we'll also get Just Dance on the Wii U. <laughs> Don't you worry, your tiny little heart can play. Yay. See, what I'm wondering is, when they stop making Just Dance for the Wii, will they also stop making it for the Wii U? <laughs> Because like I, I don't, they'll never stop making it for me. That just become a staple for them. It's like twenty years from now. Just dance, <laughs> thirty nine. We're almost out of songs. Now also for the Wii for the GameCube. <laughs> anyway, enough with Ubisoft and just yeah. Sony is next on that list. All right. Well, we already know what, what they're showing. They announced so they're yeah. going to show the four main ones. But um, let's see. We're, we're not going by what we're showing. What we want to see. You're getting it with computers. Stop that. Fine. You don't have ruin half the podcast just because you're in a rush. Mm. We're just trusting our opinions, so I how do you have them? Fine. My goodness. No, it's hard for you to think on the spot, but you had like ten minutes to prepare. <laughs> you remember? Anyway, I want to see Spider Man. Yeah, they're gonna show that though. I don't care what I said, we're just trusting that later. <laughs> <laughs> When later? We this don't is have... why we need a new. We need someone new. Wait a minute. Pause. When later? Are we just seeing them both now? I'm... No, no. We're doing what we want to see first, and then after, we're going back through to what we what they're probably going to announce. But we've been talking for forty minutes. It's going to be an hour and a half episode. Yeah, it's an E three special. <laughs> this isn't the E three special. The E three special is later. This is the pre E three. It's a pre E three special. <laughs> Not every episode is going to be a special. <laughs> Otherwise, we're gonna have four specials in a row. <laughs> Go then. Why don't we just we say them? Why way. don't we just say them both at the same time? Anyway, Sony, Spider-Man, Spooderman. Yeah, Spider-Man, that that game yeah, looks so. really cool. Yeah, that the only thing I like are the quick time events. So I'm hoping they're not as often as they might see. Yeah. 
Well, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like press X for like uh, shoot web, but depending where you are, it'll do something wacky and cool. Like, uh, I'll just play Bayonetta for that. <laughs> that was like, you know, it, the main button is just press this to do that, but depending where you are and where the enemy is, it'll do something different. Like, if you're hanging, then it'll hang him up. If you're on the ground, and it'll pull him towards you and you'll punch him. Because, like, otherwise they'll have way too many button commands and combos that they won't be able to pull off easily. Yeah. Because it, it was being made by yeah. Platinum Games, I could definitely see that happening. But it's Insomniac. So. Yeah, and they, it's like Platinum Games, they have experience with Packet Smash games, so they'll yeah. probably be able to do all the footage and all that stuff. Mm. Insomniac, they don't. Yeah. I mean, it's also they're advertising it more for like the general audience, which is like, you know, everyone, because everyone likes Spider Man and it looks like a cool game. So Everyone likes Spider Man. I mean too bad he's you know You know, tell me one person who doesn't like Spider Man. Too bad he's G G G. What? Too bad he's gone G G. Beep beep. He he just wasn't feeling good, okay? <laughs> God damn it, his dog. <laughs> Anyway, uh, right. Well, um, I yeah. want to see some Red Dead Redemption. Probably not going to get that game, but it looks really good. Yeah, yeah, it does. I want to see more Last of Us too. I'm pretty sure they're going to. I show would us want that. to see more about that. But the last trailer I saw was very disturbing, and yeah, it didn't really show anything to do with zombies. So. No, it, it showed a little bit, but like that's yeah, a, a little bit. But it showed more of some people torturing other people. <laughs> but that's the cool part. It's <laughs> like the last time. that's the cool part. It's like it shows the col- uh, like the collapse of society and community. Yeah, yeah, I get that, but I want to see more zombies. <laughs> well, I mean, at the end of the trailer, they had zombies rushing towards them. They didn't show any, but they had it. Like they zombies is still a a, a very prominent part of the game. It's just you know they didn't show it in the trailer. They're showing more like more characters you will interact with. But that's the thing, is like in the last trailer they didn't show Ellie at all. So I'm thinking is Ellie even Yeah, they were completely new characters. Yeah, so are... they showed Ellie in the first trailer because she was going to be tall. So you're probably gonna play as Ellie. Are you gonna even play as Joel anymore? And I don't know. Because like you didn't I reckon see... those were gonna die. I I'm I reckon he died because like in the first trailer you didn't even see him. You heard his voice though, but that could just be Ellie talk you know Hearing him and talking that to himself. That could be Ellie imagining it, yeah. Yeah. But I reckon... But you did see a leg. You did see a leg. After though, so. the Last of Us 1, where they killed his daughter off pretty much straight away, yeah. I reckon the first one, they're going to probably kill off Ellie and Joel, or just kill them. They've got to do something more heartbreaking than killing off the daughter. They kill the two people, you play that's nasty. Yeah. I don't think they're going to kill off Ellie, though. Unless they... No, they won't, but I would love the... to see them. Yeah, depends basically how um, how much they're gonna integrate the other characters they showed in the trailer. Yeah. What what I'm wondering is like, are you gonna be playing as multiple characters throughout different oh, story arcs, it. and then they connect at the end, or they connect in the beginning, or? That was annoying. Not with Bird by Sleep. I don't think they're. <laughs> no, it's like in <laughs> in the first game when uh, Joel got hurt. Ellie, you played as Ellie for a bit, and you were hunting. And yeah, then... and I, I did play as Ellie. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm just talking. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most people listening to this. I'm sure that one person... The <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so I'm wondering, like, is it going to be like that, where you just play as different characters, and then their stories all interconnect at the same time, or they're going to interconnect later? You know, like... I think... That torture scene, yeah. that is going to be a main point for them. Probably. If that's actually in the game. Mm. <laughs> or it's going to be like uh, what happened right before they came up and met Joel and Ellie. Yeah. Or just so Ellie. That will pretty much be the main point. Yeah. Because, like, it, it's weird in game trailers, especially, because. Uh, you never you know what's actually going to be. Yeah, you, you can't, like, the, if they show off. A specific scene then they're just like spoiling the story or not spoiling exactly but like you know showing us part of the story which like every piece of the story is you know uh, important so why show it off unless you know it's not going to be in the game and they're only doing it yeah 
especially well, if, it's all, it's especially if there's no gameplay in it. If there's no gameplay, then you 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 know it's really weird what they're showing. Yeah, so it's either back they in those trailers. They could either be what happens before you start the game, mm -hmm. like what happened during the time away from the last one to the last two, or what happened in the game and that's how you're making. Yeah. What I'm hoping though, like I'm pretty sure they're not going to do this, but what I'm hoping, really hoping they don't do is that these characters are actually DLC. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, here's one trailer showing the game, and here's one trailer showing the DLC. We're not going to tell you which is which though. <laughs> <laughs> I can see them announcing DLC E3. Yeah, they're definitely gonna go heavy on that, um, especially on the PlayStation front. Yeah, DLC sells a lot on the PS4. Yeah, everyone moans about it, but they're always there buying it. <laughs> but it's like loot boxes, everyone moans about that, but you still go ahead and buy it. Yeah, yes, I'm looking at you. Yeah, you, you one person, not you. Not, no, no, not you. The person behind you. Not you who subscribed. The other person. <laughs> The random person who listens to this one for some strange reason. You who subscribe, bye -bye, we love you. Staying. Heart. <laughs> and that's all, folks. Du -du 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 -du. Well, it's not. We still have Nintendo talk. Right? Oh yeah. So yeah, <laughs> Nintendo. Oh, wait, do you have anything else for Sony? Uh, no, Kingdom Hearts, obviously. Nope. I'm hoping that comes out first on the PS4, because then I can just go to an Xbox and play. Haha. Spoil it all for them. <laughs> well, you're. Horrible person. <laughs> I am, but to be fair, no Kingdom Hearts game has been on Xbox. It should not be on the Xbox. They're just doing it they to make more money, the okay? Story. I don't care, so I'm going to go there and spoil everything since they would have played any other Kingdom Hearts game ever. Can't you just not? No. What, you are not on one of these Xbox pages? They may be. I'm probably going to spoil it to you while I'm fucking playing it. I have a PC which connects to Xbox and I have Shellshock, so does that count as me being an Xbox player? <laughs> I have an Xbox oh, Live. Wait, you also play Town of Salem. No, that's on PC. No, no, that's that's a web game, so it doesn't count. I have. Oh, it's on Steam. Yeah, but I don't have the Steam version. I have, though. I don't care what version you have. It's the same exact thing. Anyway, Nintendo. I play Solitaire and I have an Xbox Live account and I get achievements for that. Well, yeah, you need an Xbox Live account for when Minecraft gets a cross play. So. Ooh, I'm already ready. <laughs> and, they already... and why it probably isn't on Sony. Even though everyone always has a Microsoft account because you need one for your computers. And, they already, and for Steam. I already have my G points from Solitaire to show off to all the Minecraft noobs. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Nintendo. Obviously, the main focus will be the Switch. Yeah. No. <laughs> Probably announce some 3 ds games for some very strange reason. I bet they're going to go really hard on that Wii, very new Wii U exclusive. Yeah, yeah. Just Dance just 2019. 2019. <laughs> <laughs> Only for Wii U. <laughs> And we can't forget the Wii. Yeah. They showed off uh, that game. No, that that song for Just Dance. Uh, what was it? Uh, we're not talking about Just Dance. No, no, wait, no, wait, wait. Um, it was on the Switch version of Just Dance. It was, I don't remember what song. It was a promiscuous-ish song, and it was the rabbits, pe Peach Rabbits, or Rabbits Peach, dancing. So it was like. Mario Rabbit's theme of that song, only on Nintendo Switch. Oh, wow. So creative of them. I know. But... Anyway. Um, it was funny. That's it. I don't like Rabbit's, Obviously, but that was funny. more Smash. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they've got the Smash tournament, so we'll definitely see some. I mean, that's not... Now I'm just hoping I can No, no, you, you have to save that for later, because we're not doing the what we predict is what we want now. Yeah, and this is what I want. Well, they're definitely going to show it, though. I don't care, this is what I want. It's what I want, damn it. Money the money I'm not going to come up with them stupid shit. Yeah, I want an Injustice 3 on Switch. <laughs> what I want on Switch is um, Last of Us. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Smash. Yeah. I want Bayonet to win that again. <clears throat> I don't care, all you salty people. Yeah. I just want Bayonetta more Bayonetta. Bayonetta. I want Bayonetta 4. <laughs> I just want Bayonetta. Bayonetta 3. Yeah. <laughs> Hoping I can get that. God, why does Kingdom Hearts have to come out this year? <laughs> Bayonetta 1 Damn again. Straight, really. Nah, I've already bought them. Bayonetta, on, Bayonetta 1 Mirrored Edition. <laughs> <laughs> Bayonetta 1 and 2 re 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 for PS4. <laughs> oh, I have to get them. With like one extra story arc. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mm, yeah. And yeah, so smash Bayonetta 3. Yeah. But I don't want Bayonetta, I don't think Bayonetta 3 will come out this year, I just want more info. At least I hope it doesn't come out this year. Hopefully. <laughs> we can only I don't hope. think they'll show anything with Pokemon for Sage Mouse, let's go see. Yeah, they're probably just going to show a lot of that. Um, and then, obviously, um, Splatoon 2 DLC. They probably won't show that, but I want a release date at least. Yeah. I, I think they will show that. But what I what I want from uh, Switch, from Nintendo, is, um, to be honest, I want a Persona game. Because <laughs> they said that they're uh, making a yeah, Shin Megami Tensei Sony game. Yeah, they only, aren't they? What? I swear they're PS4 exclusive. Not, yeah, but they already said that they, were, they have a Shin Megami Tensei game coming for Switch. So, I'm hoping, and it's probably not going to be Persona, but I'm hoping it is Persona. And, because they have Persona Q1 and Q2 for 3DS. So, it's not own, It's not like the whole franchise is a PlayStation exclusive. Yeah, it's kind of like the whole Bayonet, Bayonet 2 is Nintendo, whereas Bayonet 1 is all the Well, yeah, but also it's... I'd say it's more like Kingdom Hearts, where most of it was on PlayStation, and then some of it is not. I would love to know how Sony got the rights for Dream Drop Distance, though. So that was a 3DS only. Every other game that was on the CI, or well, the 3DS and the CI, because yeah. Chain of Memory, because that was on PS2, got a hasty, you know, 3DS. I mean, it was probably up to Square Enix to make it on the 3DS only, though. Like, it. Well, yeah, but Nintendo would have had to try the money of it. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but I would love to know how they did get the rights to have that on there. I'm glad they did. I'm, I'm not really, I'm not, I'm not really good with rights in video games. I don't know how that whole thing works, really. So can't really tell you. But yeah, but for it to have been on three, I think Nintendo would have had to pay that money to develop it. Yeah, I guess. Mm. Well, not necessarily. I mean, like they they would uh, give funding, but maybe like yeah. Sony bought the rights to it. To that funding or whatever, like they pay back the funding. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how it works. But yeah, uh, yeah. I'm glad they did. Cause Dream Drop is just amazing. If they didn't, zero point two would be. Yeah. It still would have been good, but not as good as any that. I definitely would have bought two point five. <laughs> no, two, what two point eight? Two point eight. Yeah. But yeah. Um. Anyway, other than that, for Switch, <laughs> I would like. A Kingdom Hearts game? No, seriously, actually, I would like a Kingdom Hearts game for Switch. Um, probably be the only way you play it. Probably. Um, yeah. And then you can get a Switch capture card and we can both stream. Wow! We can both stream Kingdom so Hearts. So much variety <laughs> in our channel. Kingdom Hearts PS4, Kingdom Hearts Switch, Kingdom Hearts 3DS, question marks. Um, but yeah, I, I would like a Kingdom Hearts game on the Switch. It doesn't have yeah. to be any of the bigger ones. It could be Dream Drop Distance since it was a 3DS exclusive. Um, it could be 1 and Anything 2. Anything will be coded because that game is just terrible. The game is just falling. It doesn't yeah. get to the past. Time. If Union X comes but it's free, I will play it on Switch. I would definitely buy that. I need a phone. I want a phone just for <laughs> I want to play the Wreck-It Ralph world. <laughs> I didn't like it, but if it's on Switch and it's free, then... I'll, I'll give it another like go. Pokemon Quest. Yeah, it was it, it was also a bit laggy on my phone, probably because my phone wasn't as good as a, I wanted it to be, though. Yeah, I did like Kingdom Hearts, eh? and you had the hasty cinematic from two point eight, so now we understand the story a bit. Yeah, because you know the cinematics are just so <laughs> graphically demanding that you needed to have them in HD. <laughs> but no, but they do look great. No, because they it was made for the PS4 and you use non-dual engine. Looks like zero point two. They look amazing. Wait, is it three D models though? Yeah, three D models. Actually. Oh, I thought it was like as you see it on the phone. No, no, no. They actually made oh a, okay. into a cinematic. Okay, well in that case, that's actually cool. But I, yeah. th I thought it was just like what you see on the phone. I was like, wow, why bother? Yeah. It's like uh, three, five, eight days and recoded. They just took the scenes of that from the DS games and made them in HD. Yeah. But this one, they actually had to make the cinematic and they look amazing. Mm. The fire scenes are incredible as well. Yeah. <laughs> it was worth a watch. <laughs> well, that's good. I'm glad for you. Stream it so I can see it as well. <laughs> I can't. The game, they're literally just not on your stream. 
That but I can save a point too, when I dive down stream, I can only stream half of that. Oh, because then it just cut off. Stupid. Yeah. So I'm still trying to stream that, because that game is me. Yeah. Anyway, we ha you have to finish Kingdom Hearts 1 first. And then Kingdom Hearts 2, and then the uh, last stream, then we drop this. <laughs> Taking them all by order. <laughs> well, you know, the road to Kingdom Hearts 3, hopefully I'll have them to You know what I hope comes to Kingdom Hearts? El Dorado. Road to El That's Dorado. That's stuff. I know, but I still want it. <laughs> it would be fun. It w that would be a fun world with yeah. wacky characters and lots of I do like that film, though. Is it great? I yeah. want Treasure Planet, though. Obviously, Treasure oh. Planet, maybe. Oh, what, what's that other one? The Emperor's New Groove. That's Disney. Emperor's New Groove, yeah. They could do that. He's not... Yeah. They, they could definitely do it. I reckon this is... I wonder how it's going to work, though. They... Like, at the end of Sarah Point 2, you have, like, the extra scene. And you have Rico and Mickey going to the realm of darkness to save Aqua. And then you have Sora going off to run into this Coliseum. So like, are you going to play as Rico and then play as Sora? And then when you save all the other characters, will you also play as them? Or are they going to do it in two parts? I don't know. There's like no context to the story. You don't... You're not really helping. You're just saying, they went there, they went there. What's going to happen? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've got to save these three characters from both fights. Right. One of them is in a deep sleep. One of them is stuck in the realm of darkness, and one of them is a bad guy. And one of them is Aqua. <laughs> yeah, Aqua is one in the dark realm of darkness. They're the one that Riku went to save okay. at the end of 7.2. So I, I wonder, are you actually going to save them in that game? And then if that's the end of it, or are they just going to do it in one big game? I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's my main concern. Like, yeah. How are they actually going to fit it all in? Because there is a lot to fit in. Yeah, well, it's probably going to be a really big game. But they're not really showing off much of the story for Kingdom Hearts 3, are they? They're mostly showing off... No, they're just uh, showing off the world. Yeah, just the world. And mainly the Toy Story one. Yeah. I, I do want more. They're ones. really going hard on the Toy Story one. It just looks good. Everyone's always wanted Toy Story. I mean, it was... Like, it was going to be in from the second one, I think. They, they had the models for Buzz and Woody. Yeah. So... Yeah. I do want more Pixar though, but it's hard to think because there aren't really many bad guys in Pixar games. Yeah, I mean in Monsters Inc. The, you have uh, that lizard guy. I can't remember. Yeah. Well, what's his is face? That Pixar? Yeah, Monsters Inc. is yeah, Pixar, Pixar. Yeah. Yeah, I want them to include more of the Disney princesses. They're like brave. Yeah. And the bad guy in that, I, I don't know. You could just add someone. Hmm. You I mean, Beauty and the Beast there wasn't a bad guy, they added to one. By the way, Disney News, did, uh, they showed off a scene, like a, a screenshot from Wreck-It Ralph 2. I know, I saw. Yeah, with all the Disney princesses. I wasn't happy with that. I didn't see Ariel. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just it's just a screenshot. It obviously didn't show all of them. I, like, I want Ariel, and she is a Disney princess. How is Ariel going to fit She's a queen, there. she's not a princess. She should not be there. Who's a queen? Elsa. She is a queen. She's not a princess. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> if they had Lilo there, that would be fun. It was like, j <laughs> no, just to, just to piss you off even more. <laughs> it's like in the past, they class Alice as a princess of light. Okay. Because she's apparently the princess of Wonderland. It's like, no, she is not. She just cause, to Wonderland. Just because she's like the prominent young girl in that world does not make her a princess. <laughs> you had the Queen of Hearts. If Elsa <clears throat> counts a princess, so does the Queen of Hearts. Off with their heads. That's not how we do things here, woman. <laughs> you may call me I... my queen. So let's see, what else? Um... You know what I want? I don't want... I want uh, the Tim Burton version of Alice in Wonderland. That's yeah. what I want. That would, that be, would, be, that would be fucking dope. <laughs> yeah, that would be very good. I, I want that now. And you know what would it be even cooler? If you ha it, like, Even if you don't have the world, if you have like the... Uh, what are they? Summon. Yeah, the summons. If you have the Mad Hatter summon, and if you also have Jack Sparrow summon, because they're both Johnny Depp... <laughs> See, I'm also hoping for another part of the Caribbean world. Because that world yeah. was fun in the Monster Team 2. It looked very out of place, but it did look fun. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it was a great world. You have realistic looking characters like uh, Johnny Depp and the Octopus <laughs> Guy. Drop, and then you, have, then, then you have Sora, who's kind of realistic. And then you have Dollar Goofy, who's like, <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> it just, it shouldn't work, but it do not <laughs> And I'm also hoping for another Lion King world, because that world is also good. You know what I'm hoping for? Another, like, 
old uh, classics world, like when they, when they had Steamboat Willie. Yeah. Yeah, like something like that. Because then they can implement Oswald in it. Yeah, they, 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 should, they should have an Epic Mickey build. I'm, I'm, that's another game I didn't finish, Epic Mickey. I played the one on the 3DS. It, which one was on the 3DS? The second one? I don't know. Or they had an exclusive uh, one? I think they had an exclusive one. Let's, let's find out. Yeah. I, I, had the, I had the first one on the Wii, and that was a really fun game. I but, did enjoy the 3DS one. It was good. Yeah. It wasn't as good as all. It was like a 2D platformer. Oh, no, then it's not. It must have been an exclusive one. Power of Illusion. Yeah. It's a side scrolling platform game. It, it was actually pretty good. I didn't think it was. The, the one on the Wii was great. It was phenomenal. And I found Oswald through that, and I start and I watched a few Oswald cartoons, and they were, I and then I watched some Mickey cartoons, and I must say the Oswald ones are way better, like story wise and plot wise and art style, it's just so much more progressive. <laughs> but and one more thing about the Switch is we yeah. kind of went off topic now. <laughs> this is why you should knock down <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, yeah. I reckon they definitely did it in a Fortnite ball. A what? A Fortnite ball. There's been a lot yeah. of rumors about Fortnite. Yeah, I heard that too. Since the Switch came out. So I reckon they're definitely going to announce that. If they do, then that um, Crazy Justice is just going to plummet. Because yeah. why buy a game that's basically a knockoff <laughs> of a different game Fortnite. that's free? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it just won't work. Yeah, probably. I I would like Fortnite. I would play it if it comes there. But I'm. it's not like what I'm hoping for it to come yeah, I have it on PS4, I barely even play it. Yeah. I mean, it's not a bad game, it's just I don't like the Battle Royale games. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't just stick to Minecraft 100 games. I played some, there, there was this one on mobile that uh, everyone in the army was playing at one point. It's called uh, Rule of Survival, and it's basically a, not a Fortnite clone, but a Battlegrounds uh, player known clone. And it wasn't great. <laughs> But it was actually really good on mobile. Like as a mobile port, it was really good. Yeah. It looked exactly like uh, Player Knowns. It felt exactly like Player Knowns, or how it looks like. Cause I never played it. Um, <laughs> but but it was fun. It was really fun. I played it, and then I, because and it didn't even need really good internet because our internet is crap. I can't play Splatoon on the internet that I have. You can't. You can't even Skype to me. Yeah. <laughs> But, mind but I can somehow play a, a Battle Royale mode game on that internet <laughs> with another two people on the same internet playing the same game. It was really weird. Sure. But it was fun. Yeah, so I reckon they're definitely going to add our stuff. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised, but, you know, that's it. That's, okay. that's my Anything whole Anything else you would want to see from Nintendo, or shall we um, end this after an hour and four minutes? Well, I'm gonna. I I I know they're gonna show off Metroid, and y they're probably gonna show off Yoshi. I don't think they'll show off Metroid. Well, I reckon they might announce it. Maybe screenshots off. or yeah, something. But, but I don't think they'll have a proper announcement. Yeah, Unless no, no, no that's what I meant. That's what I mean. Like you know, just just a trailer, just screenshots, not like an actual announcement, an in-depth show of what the game is gonna be like. Yeah. But like you know, they're gonna show that off for sure. They're gonna go in depth for Yoshi. Yoshi. Yeah, in depth for Yoshi. I haven't, for sure. haven't heard nothing about that. And then remember the Fire Emblem game they announced this week? Um, I'm I meant to come out this year. Still nothing. <laughs> Is it meant to come out this year? It was meant to. It got announced for this year when they said it. So the main Fire Emblem was coming to Switch 2017, 2018. Oh. It's still nothing. <laughs> if it's for 2017, 2018, then they're probably gonna go quite not quite deep but like you know when they first showed off Xenoblade 2 and they had like a a, a bit of a story uh, trailer for it yeah and then they like talked about it for five minutes they'll probably do that with uh, yeah, Fire Emblem if they I were going to show it off in 2017 about it. Yeah. Yeah. it's like the first Fire Emblem game that's coming out for Switch yeah for a con the whole console in a, in a long time and I do like the main Fire Emblem they are fun to play yeah if I remember Warriors, while that was good, the DLC in all games, that's play. Yeah. I don't know. Um, but, 
what I'm hoping is that they show off that Shin Megami Tensei game the, that I'm hoping is Persona. I just I just want some I, I want a JRPG because I never I really Genesis played one. That and is I probably five of them actually. <laughs> yeah, I, I want a good JRPG the to play though. But not not a turn based. I'm. I I like turn based games, but I want a good like hack and slash action JRPG game to play. Bayonetta is fun, but I I I already know plenty from Bayonetta. I want something new and something very Japanese to play. <laughs> Let's put it like that. No surprise, it's Japanese. Yeah. Seriously, I think you enjoy Japan way too much. Just a bit. It's interesting. Anyway, but yeah, ink, but no, nowhere near yeah. this <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, but no, no, I get Kingdom Hearts. That's basically Japanese. I know. Sora could be count as a Japanese boy. <laughs> best boy, Sora is best boy. <laughs> so the best boy can be best girl. See, this that's what I'm wondering. If we were gonna do best boy for Kingdom Hearts, who would win best boy? Would it be I Sora or would it be Goofy? I'd have to say Donald. <laughs> Donald, really? No, he's Donald, he's yeah. too hot tempered. I I don't think so. Yeah, but he saves my life plenty of times. Goofy doesn't do it. Yeah. I mean, he has a shield. He could easily jump in front of me and take the hit. But he's a selfish, <laughs> dog, stupid dog. Stupid dog, you make me look bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But back to Switch. Um, I'm hoping they show off a lot of cool new indie games because I I do like the indie games, even though I don't buy too many of them. I reckon they might announce something to do with the Stardew Valley multiplayer. And obviously Minecraft mod. That was supposed to come out last month, wasn't it? No, no, no. The beta came out last month. No, no, because they said... It came out on PC, and it's the Switch version comes next. They didn't announce when. Yeah, but didn't they say that uh, it should be done by the end of the month? Yeah, yeah. The multiplayer part is out for PC. Oh, it's completely out now? Yeah, it's completely out for PC. Oh, I thought it was going to be out for everyone by the end of the month. No, no, no. Not for everyone. I said you had PC come first, and the Switch is next, and then Xbox and PS4. Yeah, they also announced it for PS Vita, so that's cool. Yeah, that's coming out in July, I think. Something like that. Yeah. That's good. It's a great game, and I'm glad it's going multiple places for everyone to play. And it's actually doing well. Yeah. I, have I might a... not play that much anymore, but it, yeah. it was fun while it lasted. <laughs> I have a friend who sunk like 300 hours into it. See, I'm waiting for the online part. Yeah, the online. I pretty much just got it for the online, <laughs> and still somehow spent seventy hours. It's a fun game. Yeah, I'm not gonna play it. It's like Minecraft. Probably won't play that again until the crossplay comes out. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm hoping for a lot of cool new indie games. Um, I still haven't gotten Night in the Woods. I really want to get that game. Um. But yeah, other than that, they're probably just going to show off more Pokemon Let's Go, Eevee and Pikachu. I reckon, yeah, they'll, I reckon they'll probably announce a new Pokemon. I reckon they're going to show and I reckon off that what that Pokemon exciting new Smash. Pokemon is going to be. Yeah. They'll announce that Pokemon in Smash and then say it's coming to the game. <laughs> it's like, oh look, new Smash Bros character, who is it? It's that Pokemon, what Pokemon you say? Oh yeah, it's also in that game. Yeah, but that's how they did it with Fire Emblem with Corrid. They put him in Smash first, and then Five Hundred came out. Oh, uh, that's cool. So I can see him definitely mm. doing that. Yeah. It's a great way to get more hype. Oh, co- coverage for Yeah. Game. Hype. Just, just say hype. <laughs> no, it's not really hype. It's Pokemon Let Go. It's basically, just a Pokemon Go, but you're paying for it. Well, I mean, no. I read uh, someone posted on. There aren't even wild train up wild battles, wild Pokemon battles. Yeah, but if you think about it, that's easier that way. Like it, it's. Yeah, but it's not Pokemon. It's for casual players. I don't care. Those casual can leave, ruining everything. <laughs> I understand why they did it like this, and that it does look fun. And at, there, is the there is online after all. There is online after all. Yeah, they, there was a mix-up with the translation, uh, but there is online. It's not just local. Um, but the thing that they had where it's like you transfer your Pokemon Go Pokemons into the game. Well, I'm wondering if that's thing. just like, is it to actually use or is it just to look at? Because if it's just to look at, then there's 
pointless. Why bother? I reckon they've only said that the <clears> original <throat> one fifty are in the game. Yeah. So you'll probably just be able to transfer them in your set. Because any other ones is probably just one yeah. deck. It's still in Kanto sense. So. Yeah. What so I it'll probably only be the first one fifty. Yeah. So it's kind of just people that head start if you think about it. Yeah. I don't get why they chose Eevee. I mean, actually, I like, cause I, they've already said you can't evolve your starters. Yeah, so it's like so Eevee. That's just completely useless. I know. It's no like, one gets an Eevee to keep it as an Eevee. I mean, they said they announced. I understand what what they meant, but it's like I disagree with their opinion. Basically, they said that they want to bring a, a a new like a, a fresh new face to Pokemon. They don't want to just keep it as just Pikachu. So they're trying to like oh. expand and you know have a new face as well. So that's well, why they chose Eevee. Well, then pick Lapras. No, because like Eevee is like the second most well-known. I don't care. Face. I really like Lapras. I know you prefer Lapras, <laughs> but I don't care. I'm saying what their reason is. I disagree as well. I I, I don't think they should have picked Eevee for that reason that you no, can't evolve them. But it's not that you can't evolve it. They said you can't evolve it freely outside of the story mode. So it's like maybe in the story mode you'll have it to evolve into a different Eevee. Yeah, but will you be able to pick which evolution you want over the I mean, side automatically? It probably won't be like all the evolutions, it'll probably be like one of the three and then you get oh, to choose. Or are they gonna announce a new Eevee type and that's the new one. Oh, that might be the new Pokemon. It might just be a new Eevee type. Maybe. But don't they already have If it is I want it flying. They they already have a type uh oh wait, they don't have flying and they don't have dark, right? No, they have dark being Umbreon. Isn't that psychic? Wait, no, no. no. Umbreon is dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Psychic yeah. is Sylveon, I think. Or no, psychic is Ezreon. Oh, Sylveon. ghost type. They don't. They don't have a ghost type. That's what they I was. They don't thinking. have ghost. They don't have ground. They don't have flying. Isn't ground? Uh, they don't have dragon. They have grass uh, type. Yeah, they have grass type. Olympia. God, it's so confusing with the types. So they have rock, <laughs> then they have ground, and then they have grass. Yeah, it's, it's like. <laughs> just choose one, <laughs> or at least mix two of them together. They also don't have a steel. Well, how would a steel be? Would it just be Eevee or metal? Um, I guess it'll be like you know when you get that metal box in Smash. <laughs> just that. that. There you go. Enjoy. <laughs> Slows their speed, but ups their defense and strength. Hmm. Yeah, so I reckon if they do that, they'll probably add a new Eevee type. Evolution. Maybe, but like and if it's if it's the to. original 151, then will you even be able to evolve them into any other types? Because like yeah, uh, most, most types, yeah. most types weren't even in the original 151. Yeah. Like the only. Uh, let's see which ones were there in Gen. Another play Gen one. They never. They didn't have Ghost. They didn't have Psychic. I think. Let's see, they had, I know they had, the more than likely had Generation 1, Eevee, Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flip. Yeah, they only had the four. Yeah, I think they more than likely had Leafeon as well. What types did they have in Gen 1? Types in Gen 1. The first, no, they only had Vaporeon, Jolteon, and Flip. No, no, I'm talking about the 15 Pokemon types in Red and Blue. They had Bug, Dragon, Dragon wasn't in Generation 1. What bullshit are you telling me? We're not discussing this right now. We'll discuss this after the podcast. Alright, fine. When people out there are probably more Pokemon fans than it, and they're probably streaming at us if they ever for some reason come this far and come to this <laughs> podcast for some very strange reason. They don't know why, so but thanks. Unknown reason. Anyway, mm. anything else you want from Nintendo? Um, no. I'm, I'd like to see more from the Yoshi game. I honestly I haven't really been sold on that yet. I liked Yoshi's Woolly World a lot. That's the first one. And that's another game I didn't finish yet. I like that game though. You actually have that game? Yeah, I have it. I got it because you, know, you know on your birthday you get thirty percent off, thirty three percent off. Oh, you got it for that. Yeah, I got that for my birthday. Um, and another game that did come out on the Wii U that I didn't get yet was that um, Final Fantasy X. Shin Megami Tensei game, the one where you... No, that's Fire Emblem, not Final Fantasy. Sorry, sorry, Fire, Fire Emblem X Shin Megami Tensei. I forgot what it's called, though. Something Fire. something with a hashtag, I remember. Yeah, yeah. It, I wanted that, but I wasn't sold on it. It was too Japanese for you. No, no. It was just too 
Shin Men Men is had Shin Megami Tensei. Tensei one. Shin Megami yeah. Tensei. It was more that and less Fire Emblem. Yeah. I wanted more Fire Emblem. It was just basically Fire Emblem characters, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which is really weird. It's like it's a really weird game. As in what how 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 does this even exist? Like, oh yeah, we're fighting in medieval times and like life and death scenarios and oh look, we're now regular school kids on the subway. <laughs> So, yeah, I really yeah. was not sold on. I want the after, so then it. Yeah, I saw it in, details came out. And I that's want. another thing. I saw it in the shop, and it's still sixty dollars. It's like, what really? the hell? It's a Wii U game that came out three, four years, three years ago, and it's still sixty dollars. Buy your game from Amazon. I'm going to. I'm. I'm. I'm thinking of getting that if I take the Wii U with me. But anyway. Uh, but what's that got to do with anything? Nothing. Um, right. Uh, <laughs> I, I want to see more from that Yoshi game. Because I, I haven't been sold on that, really. Uh, but I know it has potential, because Yoshi games are usually quite good. See, I <clears> used to like them. But then it just got way too easy. Yeah, it did. But uh, The one on the 3DS. The Woolly World, or the Yoshi's Island? Uh, I can't remember what Yoshi's New Island, that's right it was. Yoshi's New Island, yeah, that. It was so easy. Yeah, Woolly World is quite easy too. It's... Yeah, so I, they need to take it back and up the difficulty a bit. I know Yoshi is for kids and all that crap, but still, yeah. kids can do more than that. Yeah, but it's fun. It's still fun. You know what I'm hoping for, actually? I just thought of a new 2D Mario game. That would be fun. But not Mario Maker. I don't, I don't want Mario Maker. I want a new 2D Mario game. But but after playing Mario Odyssey, I don't know if I could go back to 2D Mario. I mean, yeah, but like it's still it, like they're like classics, kinda. Yeah, and classics die. It, no, I mean like it's a classic formula. How many that... people do you hear about Snow White? <laughs> Those are classic. Yep, that's what no, I'm saying. No, he's dead. That's not what I'm saying. I mean, it's a classic formula. We didn't need a poison apple. My goodness, will you shut up and let me speak? <laughs> it's a classic <laughs> formula that no matter how old it is, it's still really, you know, really yeah. good and really but fun nowadays. But the 2D games should stay on handhelds. Like the 3DS. They're so planning on keeping the 3DS like for some very strange reason. So keep those ones on the 3DS. I mean, the Switch is also a handheld, so... Yeah, so there's a handheld with console potential, so you should be lowering that potential with 3D games. I'm not saying that I want it to be only 2D Mario for now. I just want, you know, I'd like to see a 2D Mario game on there. That's all. No, I've saying. never really been a big fan of 2D Mario games. I like the one on the Wii. I finished it, but then I deleted my save file accidentally because I was a stupid 10 year old. I've always found Mario games easy as well. Like the one on the Wii was easy, the one on the Wii was definitely. 3D the Mario one? games, well, they're not exactly difficult, they're a lot more difficult <coughs> than the 2D games. Yeah. yeah. I think that's probably my problem. I died a lot on the, two, on the Wii one. Oh, I couldn't pass it, I needed help from my I needed help from my cousins. But granted, die, you play it now. granted, I was 10 years old. Yeah, and you still can still play games now, you have not improved at all. I was better than Jessica at least, she couldn't run. She, she couldn't grasp the concept of Keep yeah. this button pressed, and then you can also but run. But you play games. Jessica doesn't. No. At 10 years old, we played the same amount of games. We both played sure, games. Sure, you Now, you say this when she's not here to defend herself. She would just say, yeah. She would agree with me. No, she wouldn't. No, but she was, she was really good at that Wii Sports Resort sword game. But not the normal sword game. The one where you slice stuff. I played that with her recently, actually, I still couldn't beat her. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I used to play that with my friends when we used to go back. We just, we had a Wii U, we had Mario, but we had to match. And we were playing Wii Sports or something. And we were doing table tennis. See, that's a classic. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun to do that, I did enjoy doing that. Yeah. See, when I got a Wii, I got it with sports and sports resort, and I barely ever played sports. It was like, we had Smash on the Wii, but we would load up the Wii version and play the Surface and the and then complain when we were stuck in the great menu. God, I hated that. I never finished it. I got really far, but I never finished it. Oh, we finished it all the time, but it was annoying every time we got it. 
That was so freaking annoying. It kept getting lost. And like, at one point, I got stuck, right? So I was like, I looked at the map, and I was like, okay, all the branching paths lead to these rooms. So let's go to each of those rooms and see for a door. But there was no pathways, and there was no pathways on the map in those doors. So it must have been like a stupid portal somewhere or some shit like that. And I remember like backtracking continuously, going through the whole freaking map, and I still couldn't find the exit. <laughs> Oh, Granted, just, if I play it nowadays, thing. I'll probably find it. But. One more thing, I am hoping for probably won't oh. find it, but I want a Mario Strikers game. You're not getting it. I love the one I was on, but it was so much fun. You're getting Mario Tennis. You're not getting another Mario Sports game this year. <laughs> I don't want Mario. <laughs> Mario Tennis looks bad. <laughs> Mario Tennis can go suck a D. I screw the Mario Ditto. Tennis and Mario Golf. No one likes them. Bring his Mario Strikers back. We all like them. <laughs> Waluigi was so cocky there. You listen to amazing. us about fucking... What game was it? What game I don't know. Metroid. Yeah. <laughs> so they should listen to us about it. Mm. I, I wonder if Metroid Prime is going to be as good as the other ones. I, I never played any Metroid Prime games. I think it kind of has to be. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's made by like a... If Nintendo is through the result, everyone they're... will be pissed at them. I mean, no matter what they do, they're going to be pissed. <clears throat> If it's a but good yeah. game that's different, people are going to be like, it's not the same Metroid Prime. If it's the same as the old ones, still good. It's like, they didn't change anything. So no matter what they do, people are still going to be But pissed. it's just, would they rather have a majority mode or a minority mode? Yeah. yeah you can't oh. please everyone, but you can please most. More. Yeah. But anyway, hopefully that turns out good. I mean, I'm probably still gonna like the game either way because I don't have any previous experience. Yeah, neither do I. I wanted to get the ones on Wii, but that's never done. They released them on the on the Wii U, I think. Yeah, the, uh, yeah I never got around to it. My sense of all wasn't working, so I couldn't. Yeah. Mm. I, I think anyway. we should probably call this episode quick soon. Probably. Oh, so I, would, I would. I would. I would like to say a few things that don't have to do anything with the E3. Actually, just ba basically, I'd like to talk about Pokemon Quest just a little bit. No, oh my god. Yeah, I got Shiny in that game. Shiny Dio. <laughs> yeah, it's dude. a really fun game, yeah. I, I think it's going to be great when it comes to mobile. It's my like... Pokemon are better than you. <laughs> do you play it on handheld mode or TV mode? Oh, I play handheld mode. Yeah. Trust like me, with a touch screen, so right? Easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like. Taking the cursor left and right is just not yeah. like if you if you had action buttons then that would be much better but like it doesn't it doesn't give exactly. you anything. Like With that. them also bringing it to mobile, it was made for touch screen. Yeah, I'm pretty sure like they made it for mobile and then like oh, a switch no, has a touch screen. Can you do it for here too? <laughs> I mean, it's good that they're doing that. At least now we can probably get yeah. mobile games and switch games all on one place. I mean, Voas is I think it was a mobile game and then it went to switch. Yeah. It's uh, good that they are doing that. Gives yeah. the Switch more potential. Also, that other game, Demo. Did you see that? It was uh, it was another rhythm game that they made. It was no, made by Sony. Game. It was made by Sony though, and it's on the Switch. But it was no, also that's on mobile. Pop, not Demo. That's from. What? That's from Pop. No, Thumper and Demo, D E E M O. That's no, also no, from no. Sony. It's uh. It's like mostly piano music, and uh, it's a rhythm game. But it was on mobile, I found it the other day. Not the other day, like a month ago. Uh, and it's by Sony. Yeah, it's by Sony though, so I thought that was cool. Sony has a few games on Switch. You've got the Tiny Tanks or whatever. and Tiny Metal, that's what it was. Tiny Metal, Demo, and Thumper. So cool. Now we just need Kingdom Hearts Union X and Reload. And Monster Hunter Worlds. Um, I need to buy that game. Yeah. You know what would be funny? If you uh, don't get... Uh, like, if Kingdom Hearts gets delayed to much later on, and you get Monster Hunter Worlds instead of Smash, and then they announce Monster Hunter Worlds for Switch. I would go to Japan to burn the end of that quarter. See, if they released Monster Hunter Worlds on PS4 and on Switch, which would you get it? I would get it on Switch. Mm. Even the, hand, the handheld 
respect of it. Taking it on the go, that just gives me more reason. Like if Kingdom Hearts 3 did get announced for free, I would get it on that. Yeah. Well, actually, I'd probably get it on the F4 for like three months. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, and also the and you know the switch online is a lot cheaper. So. Yeah, that too. But also another thing I just want to mention is um, Peter, the animal conservation oh people. God, they made a... I'm not even taking part in this. Don't. It's fine. They made you're, a. You're free games too much. I mean, they aren't it, watching it. Shut that. up and let me get to it. They made a free game. <laughs> oh really? It's, you don't say. You're the one that's saying. <laughs> it's got. It's called Kitten Squad, and it's actually really fun. Peter did I, not make good games. You're just loving it because it's free. No, it's actually really fun. It's it's a twin stick shooter because that's like the easiest game to make, <laughs> and you you play as kittens and you go and save the animals. <laughs> Right, we're ending this now. By shooting robots, but like one of the guns is a big yarn ball. No, it's not. It, it shoots yarn balls, and that's the most OP gun, because it goes through the enemies and they just bounce across the screen. It's really fun. We are ending this now. It's fun with multiplayer. We're ending this. No more this stupid kitty right. Peter's crap. We don't okay. like Peter here. Okay, but if they had it. To... They would. They would kill my dog just to try and prove a point that we killed the dog. <laughs> I don't know PETA politics or PETA drama, I just know that they made a fun game for Switch. They made a game where you kill Pokemon and turn them into nuggets. In a way to try and get rid of McDonald's. And pick in Pokemon, probably. Yeah, and Pokemon, yeah, saying that that's animal abuse. No, that electrical yellow rat that you saw in your house the other day, how dare you kill it. <laughs> or the magnets with a with an eyeball how dare you abuse oh, you know, this animal the giant flaming dragon how dare you abuse the dragon it's an animal but anyway peter is just ridiculous do mythical beasts count as animals or are what they pokemon do so i'm dead and mythical beasts do as well <laughs> i don't know their limits but then in that case is a unicorn a mythical beast or an animal <laughs> It's the high rock, a mythical beast or an animal. <laughs> it's Gyarados, a mythical beast or an animal. Anyway. But yeah. So that's it for this episode of the Switch It Up podcast. Uh, if you'd like to get in touch with us on our Twitter or we have an email, uh, you can tweet us at uh, Switch It Up Pod, I think. <laughs> I think. I don't know. It's in the pod, description. Yeah. It's in the description, or you can email us at switchituppod at gmail.com. We check it mostly because it's default and we have to. Um, <laughs> we don't want to. Also, Jordan is uh, live streaming Kingdom Hearts 1, if you haven't uh, noticed, on YouTube, which you probably haven't, you one person who is listening. Um, <laughs> no, we start with Kingdom Hearts 1, then we skip chain moments, I think, probably. Kingdom Hearts 2, <laughs> yeah. Birth by Sleep. Are you gonna finish? Are you gonna go through all Kingdom Hearts one, by the way? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it all. Okay, how much then is left anyway? Uh, well, I just completed Agrabah and got to Monstra. So after that... I've sent you all the files I need to send you, I'm gonna stream <clears> some more and get as much done with Monstra as I can. Probably just show you know that. that doesn't help me. How much is left? <laughs> well, I don't know. It just depends on how much grinding I have to do. I've got uh, about four more worlds left. Four see, worlds. I've got Monstro Neverland. Uh, a Little Mermaid, Hollow mm. Bastion, and then the End World. There are five worlds left. Mm, okay. Anyway, so yeah, Jordan streams uh, Kingdom Hearts, and it's probably going to stream the whole series <laughs> until 3 comes out. <laughs> and um, then I'm going to play for you stream that straight after. <laughs> yeah, so if you want to watch that, we are going to try and invest in the capture card, but that's probably not going to happen until like next year. So don't <laughs> wait for anything from the Switch. Um... Say we're but, a bit of the podcast. Yeah. It seems to be spending more time than that. <laughs> yeah. If you You're welcome, we're hypocrites. <laughs> yeah. If you want for whatever reason to friend us on the Switch, we have our friend codes up on Twitter. We'll pin the post so that it's at the very top. Well, it's already pinned. Oh, it's already pinned? There you, you go. Think I should already have a PSN account to that. Hey, why not? But I don't have the online. I mean we can play Fortnite. I'm Sh- shit at it, but we can. <laughs> I, should I pin my 
Xbox Live account so we can play Solitaire. You don't. <laughs> we can Is that play... online? Is that actually online? I, th- I think there's like, you can compare scores online or something. No, 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 no. <laughs> we can look at each other's we'll achievements. We'll save that for myself and play. Come. <laughs> yeah. But we can so pull out Steam thing there, you know, just in case anyone has shell <laughs> shock. Uh, no, yeah, I only have shell shock. <laughs> in case you want to. <laughs> I have Town of Salem. <laughs> Ooh. C- can you play Town of Salem crossplay with the web version? Yeah, yeah. It's not like playing See, web. <laughs> we can play web. <laughs> <laughs> we can play Flash games. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I know. We're getting a bit too expensive and like high class here, but we're just scraping the bottom of the bubble. <laughs> Come on, you one fan, you play with us. I know you want. <laughs> yeah. I don't even but... know. You probably haven't been made it this far. You're not bored after the first five minutes. I mean, they probably have an actual life, but. <laughs> I wonder what. That's In case like. you don't. <laughs> if you do, just come to the end. Tell me what your life is and how it feels. Yeah. I need all the information there. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for listening to our pre-special E3 uh, podcast bonanza. <laughs> bonanza. I like that word, and I like to use it wherever I can. Sure, it's probably, why not? Probably used it wrong, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely probably used it. 100%. Anyway. But yeah, until next time, there is no end uh, phrase yet. We're still working on that. Uh, Bye. Well, we're not doing an episode next week. We're oh yeah, oh, I forgot about that. E3. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to split up the E3 into most likely two or three episodes. And one... of course, we're doing it one each night. So after we watch... So after the festers, we'll be doing EA, Microsoft, and Bethesda. Yeah, and then for the Ubisoft, first half. Square Enix, and Sony, and then a podcast just for Nintendo. Yeah, and after an Nint- and during the Nintendo one, we'll also talk about our general opinions and yeah. impressions from E3. So look forward to that, Mister One Person. <laughs> and... Now you're listening. Actually, you're not. Why would you? <laughs> See you in about a week and a half. <laughs> Sure, Bye. a week and a half, why not? <laughs> See ya. Or other word, I don't know. We'll probably cut it from before uh, then anyway. Bon voyage. I already stopped rec- Oh, I didn't stop recording. <laughs>